bras. Love them or hate them, if you want to keep your boobies in check, we've already sorted out the best way to do it, right? Well, that's not exactly accurate. Ugh, the straps keep falling off. They keep coming out from the sides. My cups runneth over. Uh, they're just swimming around in there. <laughs> Big data, the statistical models that power Google search, Facebook ads, Amazon, and help optimize public health, cities, and law enforcement, is now also being used to make the humble cup and straps more fitting. Now, science has a bit to say on whether bras are even good for you or not. Blue, they say they suck and you shouldn't wear them. Personal aside, I feel much better when I'm freeballing on the weekends in my pajamas, but as a professional who has to like move about and sit in corporate meetings and with boobs that have to be tamed, kind of like my hair, I make a personal decision to wear a bra. And I'm not alone. In the Western world, bras have been the socially accepted norm because they offer support and create an appearance that's generally pleasing. And according to research, they help with nipple modesty, meaning that women don't want the silhouette of their nipples to be visible enough through their shirts. But in the almost 100 years that we've been wearing bras, have you ever stopped to question whether this kind of support is the best we can possibly give? I mean, for us women, we've all heard that 80% of women are wearing the wrong cup size. See, the bra industry is still using the same sizing methodology the band and cup size model that they've been using since the 1930s. And here's the problem with that. Bras measure you by width around your body and height, the size of your breast. But that's not very specific. Look at this mountain. Do topographers get out their tape measure to measure the mountain's circumference and height alone? No, mountains come in all different shapes and sizes. There are pointy mountains, spherical mountains, or lopsided mountains. You get my drift. The same goes with breasts. They can be full, or they can be shallow, or they can be anything in between. This is where data science can help, because there's actually parallels between algorithms and bra fittings. Now we can leverage the knowledge of number geeks to help save our bodies from the confusing exercise of finding bras that fit properly. Huzzah! One startup company, Truco, is giving women online tests. It gets women to answer a series of questions about the bras they receive. Is the band too tight or too loose? Is the cup too small or too big? Is it too padded? Not padded enough. It uses this information to create statistical algorithms to work out all the different shapes that women have, which was the missing part of the bra measurement equation. More than 2 million women have taken the test, which boils down to about 44 million boob data points and 6,000 different body types and counting. And from the results, it places each woman into a color on the company's proprietary fit spectrum. And the great thing about big data is that you can constantly change your products based on the info that you're getting in this continuous stream of numbers. Now, this is all excellent, but my question is, how well can women judge their own shape? I mean, data via self-reporting is always difficult. And in this day and age, don't we have something more high tech? The answer is yes. Another startup called Third Love allows women to take their measurements at home with a body scanning technology app. The lucky for us owners of boobs, the future is looking brighter. So to all the lady psychers out there, I would love to get your opinion. How well do your bras fit you and what are the most common problems that you have? Is it strap slippage? That's my personal problem. Is it cups spilling over a bit too tight around the back? Let us know in the comments below and we'll do our own PsyQ analysis. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.